Hey guys, Techit here, and today we're going to be opening up the Ultimate mic Microcontroller Pack from the Maker Shed. Um, I got this from Radio Shack, but you can also get it online. It's about 120 bucks, and the link will be in the description. Now, Arduino themselves make a kit similar like this, but I chose this one just for preferences. But the one thing I do not like about this kit is the fact it did not come with a connection for the Arduino to the computer itself. So I already went ahead and bought one of those. Um, fairly inexpensive. You can get one off the back of your printer as well if you don't feel like buying one. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so I've done the liberty of already making opening it. So there we go. Now inside we have a guide. Um, should have all the things about it, some of the part names and cool things about resistors and stuff, so it's a pretty simple thing and shields and motors, pretty cool. Now inside here we have everything we really need. Um, let's move this aside. Now this is a static bag, so everything is safe inside the static bag. Ouch. Whatever that was. Let's open this up. Okay, we have a some servos. That's pretty useful. Um, what else do we have? We have another servo. A clear breadboard. Oh, this is a um the shield you can make. I'll be using I'll maybe making this in another video. It takes about twenty minutes to build. Okay, here is the LCD screen. I'm going to get this other bag for you guys. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's 16 characters by 2 rows. And, yeah. It also comes in the other kit as well. We've got one proto board. And a second proto board. So, two proto boards. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, we got some jumper wires. Now, these are better than the ones that come in the other kit because these all have male pin pin connectors instead of just and they're really easy to put in so that's pretty cool now in here we got a bag of goodies which I'll open up in a little bit okay we got the um, 9 volt battery adapter which I think this thing comes from this thing I'll have to repair that later We got a mini breadboard. Now this you can stick on the shield itself and I'll be doing that in another video. And here we got the Arduino Uno itself. Um, open that up for a little while as well. Um, the static bag. Here's a box full of cool goodies and other things you can have and it's double sided. So it keeps everything in there. So why don't we open up. Okay. So we got some like pressure with pressure um t sensors. So the harder you push on these things, the output will be determined by that. We got some uh, capacitors and some other things in there. We got some LEDs, some clear, red, and some green LEDs. We've got some male header pins, and these are good for your proto board for customizing it. Okay, and here we got some buttons and switches. It's pretty cool. And here we got some resistors now. Loads of those different types of resistance. Um, the guide should tell you which each one is. So, let's move that off. Next side. Let's see. Okay, and this uh, we got some female to male header pins in here. Now, uh, there's also a good for customizing your proto board. I mean, your uh, shield. We've got a pentiometer. Now, this is where you plug in. It's a pretty cool thing. I'll be going over one of these in a, another video. I think this is a buzzer. Um, some white. Yeah, it's a buzzer. Okay. 
Um, we also got some other things in this bag. We've got a little DC motor and some other stuff, which I will explain in the description probably. Um, and we also got some. Let's get into this. Well, that's some shrink rack, shrink heat shrink tubing. Um, that's good for insulation and stuff. Can never have too much of that. And now we've got the Arduino Uno itself. Now, this thing is pretty powerful. I mean, it's. Let's get this open. Oh god. Comes with some instructions and stuff, some stickers, and here it is the third generation Arduino Uno. Now, this thing's pretty cool. I mean, let's look at it here. We got the microprocessor, the connections, the power, the um, digital inputs, the uh, analogs, and the power. It's a pretty simple thing. I mean, fairly cost-effective. If you were to buy this by itself, it would be about 30 bucks. This whole entire pack was 120 bucks, and thank you for watching, and hopefully in my next video, I'll be going over some easy tutorials. Until next time, thank you.